testing the turn ratio of this transformer. This is the nameplate of the transformer. Shall we say we set the top changer at top number 3? So the high voltage will be 13,800 and the low voltage will remain at 231 and it's also better to take note that this type of transformer is DYN11 and this is the top changer now it's set to top number 3 if you want to change at top number 2 just lift this up and put it at number 2 since we want to set to test top number 3 let us set it say top number 3 going back to the equipment this is the TTR testing equipment this is the power supply we plug it here to 120 volts and these are the cables you have the X cable which will be connected to the low voltage side and the H cable will be connected to the high voltage side this high voltage side is in the primary with U V W and the X cable will be connected in the secondary you have U V W with neutral so that's the reason why it is DYN11 going back to the testing equipment once you turn on this will be the main menu before you begin make sure that the test winding is set to number 7 just pressing this 7 oh that's 9 this 7 if you press 9 it will change to number 9 which is CT in this case we will use 7 7 and there are two types of tests that I will teach you first let us do quick test and later we will do full test quick test should be quick press 1 there are only two information that we need to put here the transformer ID and the transformer type shall we say the transformer ID let us try to say the transformer ID is TX001 so how to change this transformer ID press 1 for transformer ID press 1 and it's stated here enter up to 12 characters ID use asterisk to select letters since we will put T and X means we will use this press asterisk and it will show all the letters and you will use left and right or R right and L left to go right you keep on pressing right and look put the cursor to X there you are I mean T and then press enter this is the enter and once you press enter it will put it will type T and then since we want X again which is letters press asterisk again and then same 
the cursor, put it at X, W, X, and then press enter. It will show TX, 0, 0, just simply write 0, 0, 1. It will become TX, 0, 0, 1. Now, this is the transformer type number 2, diagram 15, DYN11. It's already in DYN11. If just in case that it's not in DYN11, just simply put press 2. Oh, I forgot. I should press enter here if I want TX001 only. So to clear the I should press clear and then since I need to go out from transformer ID number one press enter so the cursor is gone now if I want again to put this at DYN11 just in case it is not in DYN11 press 2 press 2 and put the diagram 15. Why diagram 15? It shows to this card that DYN11 is diagram 15. Okay, so we will put the diagram number. It shows here enter the transformer diagram number. Refer to the table on the instruction card. So we seen the instructor card instruct instruction card which is 15 once we put 15 again we press enter once we press enter it will show DYN11 and then you can start the test only two that's so quick and you can press test once you press test you will see the test voltage on lit the lamp will lit and there will be some sound and it will show the ratio this is what we need the turn ratio per pace it will be u v and w this is 104.07 and so on now we will try to record this i will try to record that over this table that is 104.07 and then 103.52 this is the turn ratio 103.51 now how do we know this time if this t turn ratio is okay or not okay so base on the top number one, I mean top number three, turn ratio per pace is equal to the primary voltage, which is in the high voltage side, divided by the low voltage side on the secondary voltage per pace, which is equal at top number three, it is 13,800, as you have seen. A while ago divided by the low voltage per pace is 231 which you need to divide this by square root of 3 because it is connected as Y in the secondary so that is divided by square root of 3 to get the phase voltage now if you will put this calculate this that will be 13,800 divided by 231 and then instead of dividing by square root of 3 I will multiply so that no need to put the bracket by square root of 3 that will be the same and then press equals 
and that will be 103.47. So the turn ratio, the rated turn ratio is 103.47. Now we will compare this expected turn ratio, the rated turn ratio, should be the same as the measured turn ratio. As you notice, it is almost the same, but here at U, it seems like big difference as compared to the V and W. So, with the use of the equation of getting the percent difference between this expected value and the measured value, we will try to compute once it is less than 2% as a rule of the thumb, it will be okay. So how do we get this percent difference is equal to the expected value, which is 103.47, that is also the, the same as the rated value, minus this measured value, which is 104.07 divided by the expected value, 103.47. To make it percent, you need to multiply this by 100 to make it percent. And that will be equal to, using your calculator, First, 103.47 minus 104, let me check if I put it correctly, 0 0.07. I must put equals first, press equals first, and then divide this 103.47. Equals and multiply by 100 and then press equals and then press this to make it digital. The absolute value is 0.57 or 58, so that will be negative 0 0.58 percent. So if, therefore, if this is only 0.58%, so it means it is still acceptable, and the result here, based on the result, the interpretation of this result would be okay. It means the transformer turn ratio test for this phase A or phase U will be okay. So how much more with V and the value. Again, you can calculate with this or by means of observation, this will be also better that it means if this is good, how much more this two, which is very close to the expected value. So that's it for the quick test. How you will know if the TTR test will be okay or not for this transformer. The next video will be about the using this TTR test using the full test setup. Thank you.